Now, the story picks up in Matthew 4, beginning with verse 18. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come follow me, Jesus said. I'll make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw other brothers, James, the sons of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, preparing their nets, and Jesus called them. And immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Now I want you to notice, Peter was called from success. He was not called from failure. He was not called from despondency. Jesus just made him very wealthy, gave him the greatest catch of fish in his life. And then he said, Peter, can you walk away from success? Can, can you walk away from wealth to follow me? The same thing he offered the rich young ruler, sell all that you have, give to the poor, come follow me. But that man would not walk away from wealth. Jesus gave Peter wealth and then said, would you walk away from this to follow me? And he said, I'm not promising you anything, but I'm promising you I'm going to change you. I'm going to make you a fisher of men. I'm going to transform your heart into a fisher of men. Now, there's several things I want you to see here. Number one, a person who is called has to go through a transformation. You don't step out of business and then step into a pulpit. You may be a great presenter. You may be great with PowerPoints, but your heart hasn't changed. God has to change who you are at the core. So as a businessman, you're not worried about the bottom line anymore. You're worried about souls. So you know, you're, not, you're not a marketing manager anymore. You're not a marketeer. You're not a, a network marketer anymore. At your core, you've changed into a pastor and into something different. So I challenge some of you today that you know, you're going to have to walk away from the business. And people don't like that. But you have to walk away from the business and go through a season of change. For the apostles, it was three years to go through a season of change where God changes how you think and how you feel and how you see everything. Your, your core is changed. Secondly, you have to walk away from business. First was prosperity. Second was business. Third, you walk away from family. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, had to walk away from their father, leave their father, leave the boat, which was their business, and go and follow Jesus. You, you can't live in two worlds. You, you can't have your heart in two worlds and follow the call of God. You, you can't be in business. You, you have to give yourself fully to the call. Just like the Levites in the Old Testament days, they, they, they were chosen because they were willing to follow God and put God before their families. The same thing has to be true in the ministry today, that, that, that the work of God, that the family of God takes, takes first and absolute first place within our life. Now, you say, well, Pastor Summer, what, what happens to us then? You know, if, if we give ourselves full time to God, what will happen to our future? Well, in Matthew chapter 10, Jesus made a promise, and that promise was made to preachers. This isn't a promise that's made to just every Christian. It's a promise that was made to preachers. Mark 10, beginning with verse 28, Peter said, we've left everything to follow you, Jesus. We walked away from wealth. We walked away from our business. We walked away from our families. We walked away from our careers. We, we walked away from everything. I tell you the truth, Jesus replied, no one who has left home or brothers or sister or mother or father or children or field, that's business for me or for the gospel, will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age, homes, brothers, sisters, mother, children, and fields, and with them persecution, and in the age to come, eternal life. But the first will be last, and the last will be first. Now, there's tremendous truth in that, but let me just share this one thing. You don't need to worry about your future. If you will follow the call, follow the call to the full-time ministry, like Peter did on this beach 2,000 years ago, he changed a world. Those 12 apostles changed a world because they were willing to walk away from everything and follow the call. So I want to issue a challenge. I want to issue a challenge to the young graduates today. Are you willing to follow the call and trust Jesus with your future? I want to issue a call to the Peter's generation. Those of you with successful careers already, successful businesses already, but you know God is calling you. Are you willing to walk away from all of that? Don't, not part-time business and part-time ministry. Walk away from all of that and follow the call to change the lives of the people of this world. We need a whole new generation of young preachers. I challenge you, will you follow your heart? Will you follow the voice of Jesus to your life to follow the call to the full-time ministry? 
Thank you for joining us today. Catch daily devotions every Monday to Sunday at 9.30 a.m., 5.30 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. on DZBR, 5.31 a.m. or visit www.bible.radio. On April 15, Good Friday, we invite you to the annual School of the Cross in all Cathedral of Praise campuses. Learn the real story, the biblical truths and historical facts surrounding the sacrifice and triumph of Jesus Christ on the cross. Plan the trip of a lifetime. See the Bible come to life and join COP Israel Tour 2023. For inquiries, message us now at 0998-583-9781 or at facebook.com slash cop.israeltour. You may also send an email to israeltour at cathedralofpraise.com.ph.